Hi, and welcome to my life in reasonably sunny central Texas. It's actually a little overcast today. That's fine. It'll keep the temperatures down for Easter weekend. And we're off to a good start today. Went to the store with the grandson. He's buying the wheel. Hamburger. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> and this is Kismet the Feral Grandma. I found some uh, frozen raw blend dog food mixture at the store. I'm going to try giving some to the little Wawa dog and see if he likes it. Needed to go for cat food anyway. And we have his regular canned food, the dogs, and the, and now we have a cat's canned food. If he likes the raw stuff, I'll get him transitioned slowly so that he's eating more of the, the raw blend. It might be too late to make much difference in his life, but it might not. In this case, N equals one-tenth. He's tiny. We can go. Did you want to hit that just for a drink or get one over here at this store? He was sad. We are in the south, so bagfuls of crawfish are being cooked all over the place, everywhere. We go to the grocery store and there's a cook stand set up outside just right by the door because it's their cook stand they can put it on their property if they want to and the grandson wore a uh, this is my crawfish eating shirt it's designed to look like an absolute mess but that's just a print job on it and they were out of crawfish so they gave him a free shrimp so he could try the the flavor of what they're using to boil their crawfish. They were supposed to get crawfish in this morning, but all the stores in the area are not getting their hands on enough crawfish. Poor little southern boy did not get enough crawfish this year, I guess. Did you? But we're on the way home from the grocery store now. And, uh, he's got a girlfriend in Florida who likes horses and wants to have a horse in her life. For, like, the foreseeable future. And he's, he's all about, you should come to Texas. It's not unusual to be driving around and see a horse in someone's front yard or a longhorn. Or if you like Brahma, you might have a Brahma in your front yard just chomping down the grass so you don't have to mow. If you like Angus beef better, some people do. I, I'm okay with Longhorns. I'm okay with Angus. It's beef. It's good. But there's a horsey event at one of these little slightly more remote stores. I mean, they gotta, they gotta try to attract attention however they can because there are miles out of town and folks driving by might stop and get something and folks who are in town might drive out when there's an event. But they, they need to do what they can do to try to stay open year-round. So, hey, it's the day before Easter and it's a Saturday and it's nice weather. Let's have people bring their horses out and do whatever they're doing with their horses. Of course, the implication here is that these horses are broke. They're, they're meant to be saddle, saddle horses. And they're doing whatever they're doing. I don't know if they're having a race or they're just showing off different animals. It's like, oh, here's my horse. It's better than their horse. I don't care. Not my horse. Not my rodeo. Yes, that is the Texas version of 
Not my monkeys, not my circus. We need to get to the house before the dog food thaws. That's never been a concern of mine before, but I guess it has to be now. So y'all have a happy Easter. Be safe out there in the traffic. I went into that yesterday. I, I talked about those accidents. That was a mess. Take care. Bye-bye.